Yeah, so definitely look into that. I don't even know what should I look into because the doctor seems sincere because he told me he had never seen or um, or heard of my kind of infection, and he wasn't expecting this infection to happen. He told me the sur the initial surgery was a success. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And then all of a sudden it got infected. So I don't know if that's malpractice because he can't control an infection unless he gave me an infection in the operating room for that to happen. But I have no proof of that. You know, because I'm you know under anesthesia. But either way, I mean, I guess I could still talk to Laura and say this is what's going on. Is there anything I could do about this? Because it's absolutely ridiculous that what I'm going through. But mm -hmm. but still. Like, I don't, I, I personally don't think I'd still have much of a way to defend myself because, you know, you know, like, I have, like, no proof that so-and-so is going on in terms of the word malpractice, you know? Right, right, right. So, I mean, I don't really know what is there to pursue other than the fact that I'm going through three, sur I'm about to go through a third surgery and it's absolute hell for me. You know, what, what am I supposed to say to him? Just explain to him. Explain to him your situation. That's what I would do. Explain to your lawyer your situation, and see what he can do for you and himself. Because if you can, if if he takes the case, it's like, hey, can you pay me? He's like, hey, man, it's a hospital. You win the case, you can take the proceeds from the hospital. Whatever we get paid, you get paid. <sighs> so that's. That's the real deal of that. Proceeds. The proceeds. The, the earnings of the hospital? No, the proceeds from winning the case. Oh, okay. Yeah, if he pleads the case, and he says, oh, hey, like, this, this, this happened, and that happened, and this happened, and that happened, and all these, all these uncool things have happened to my client, um, you know, blah, 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 blah. And the judge goes, yeah, you're right. The hospital shouldn't have, you shouldn't have to pay the hospital. The hospital should have to pay you. Dope. I hereby now announce uh, you the, the greatest person in America. Uh, $10,000. <laughs> you know, whatever. whatever. $10,000. Go through all that luring, luring for $10,000. I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. It, could be, it could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. It could be $450,000. And you're like, oh god, four hundred fifty thousand dollars, you know, because without, because you got to think, okay, you, you, you were doing the exercise, you messed up your arm, all right, but it's your job to exercise, okay. Now you go to the doctor, the doctor's supposed to fix you up, but he messes up, and then he messes up again, and because of this, now you can't pay your bills, you can't go to work, you lost your apartment, you have to move out, you had to buy, you had to borrow money. So now the, this, this, uh, this procedure, which should have been done correctly, has now caused you pain and suffering because you haven't been able to get a job, you haven't been able to do any of the things that you would normally do, and you've lost all the things that you've built yourself up for. So now you have pain and suffering. So you could sue for pain and suffering, but I mean, like, I'm, not, I'm not a lawyer. you got to go talk to your lawyer. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Things have happened that were unfair, out of your control, and now you need, they need to show you the money. Shaggy Sumber Beast eating. Oh, you're doing that. I did all that. Yeah, you just have to be patient. Yeah. Get those primos. Yeah. yeah. Trying to. Trying to. Alright, let me go to bed. It's late. I'm tired. I will talk to you another time. You have a good night, Chad. You too, man. It was good talking to you. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, talk to that I will phone him and I'll, should I talk to my family first? Well, they just tell me not to talk to the lawyer because they don't want to help me I deal mean, with you that. Could, you could talk to your family and see what they have to say, but in my opinion, talk to that lawyer. <laughs> that's all right. That's all I, have to say. I mean, if, if they go, hey man, no, no, just. just Pay that money. It's like okay, all right. That's they're ha uh, they're helping me I apply the financial aid. Yeah, you know. I'm like on that, financial you know. aid. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, I never said there was. I'm but just saying it's say, that bad. Yeah, but personally, I would say talk to their lawyer hmm. and see what they say about pain and suffering, about malpractice, and all that other stuff. Because they say you have a case, then you have a case, and then wait till you, wait until you get your arm fixed to sue him. Wait till I get my arm fixed and then sue him. Yeah. Or All right. Talk so to the, talk to wait the, till after my surgery then this upcoming Wednesday. Yeah, because you don't want to be suing the dude and now he's got to fix your arm. Right? <laughs> You're gonna rip me to shreds. Yeah. Or he may not do it or something like that. So, yeah. Do the dude after, and if you, mm. and if they say, oh, not for malpractice, then for pain and suffering because he he didn't do it right, and then I gotta go back. I have no proof he didn't do it right. The the fact that you have an infection is proof that he didn't do it right. Mm. But that could be caused by external factors. Mm, that's what they say. They mm. need to be able to prove that he needs. He needs to be able to prove that in the court of law. He can say that, but he's got to be able to prove it in the court of law. To you, he could just say whatever mumbo jumbo Dr. Bull spit. He could just say whatever, because you don't know what he's talking about. But in the court of law, he would have to prove it. That's the difference. Now, the judge isn't a, isn't a, a doctor. But if your lawyer can prove that this guy messed up or saying a bunch of stuff that doesn't mean anything or whatever, whatever, then it's, it's, it's a done deal. Done deal. Okay, I'm going to bed, man. I'll talk to you later. All right, man. All right. Peace. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. What? I was gonna ask if you'd be on tomorrow, but alright. Thank you.